Hey guys, we're here at the SHOT SHOT 2020 at the ATM booth. Uh, we have some exciting new ATM products coming out. I think you guys have three new devices, right? A clip-on, a handheld, and then the LT version of the x -Side. I got It's a um, scaled-down version of the x 4K. I guess you guys call it the LTV? Uh, yes, the x right. LTV. And we have an upgrade. Upgrade to the... Uh, for LT. Okay, perfect. Could you run us through some of the stuff? Absolutely. I'll start from the beginning. This is the new x LTV. It's a more scaled down version of the X8 4K. Basically, it's a lot smaller, lighter. If you compare the two, you could physically see the, the size and the difference. Oh, yeah. You don't have the real stat. It's a lot, this is a lot bigger product, a lot heavier. Uh, we've reduced the size. Uh, we still have a great power management system. It's about 10 hours. Retain the 30 millimeter tube for mounting on air rifles, crossbows, uh, center fire, room fire rifles. Uh, we've reduced the um, feature offering because a lot of customers uh, were a little bit overwhelmed about uh, some of the features right. and uh, the, for some it's more complex. I don't find it very complex, but to each his own, right? So we've retained uh, the essentials basically, uh, the one shot zero, which is a very uh, good feature and everybody likes that feature. Yeah. And uh, video recording, everybody wants to record from the first person shooter perspective. So that's an important feature and we retain that feature. Unfortunately, it doesn't have audio, but <clears throat> a lot of people like to edit the videos anyways and overlay music or overlay their own type of audio anyways. Yeah. So, you know, that's easily done in post-production. Two models, a three to nine and a five to 15. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a step zoom because there's no real stat. Uh, it's not smooth zoom at the X8 4K. So it's uh, three, six, nine or five, 10, 15. Uh, Still 30, uh, 90 millimeter eye relief, three inches. It's gonna be out uh, summer 2020. So, uh -huh. yeah. what's the price point? I guess in that. Uh, it's gonna. Um, we're thinking about 6.99. Okay. Starting point. It comes with an IR torch. Yeah, it will come with an IR. Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Uh, simple GUI, uh, very easy to use. Um, you know, day night mode. So, uh, using new QHD plus uh, sensor, which is a five megapixel. Uh, sensor. Uh, our test uh, indicates a very good performance both day and night. Mm -hmm. You'll have a few so, uh, um, selections of reticles, like I think three or four uh, in the scope. Other than that, you know, it's, I think it's going to be a very good seller. Yeah, so it's awesome. Um, I'm probably most excited <coughs> about the handheld and the clip on. Yes, so this is the new Otis LT. It's a very um, small, uh, it's about 1.2 pounds. Oh. has an internal 10-hour battery as well. It's going to be available in a multi uh, multitude of uh, sensor and lens configurations. So 160, 120, 17 micron, 19, 25 millimeter, and uh, our new 320, 240, uh, 12 micron sensor as well. And that's going to be available in 19, 25, 35, and 50 millimeter lenses, depending on your need for range or things of that nature. It's going to be available also summer 2020. Mm -hmm. Its starting point is going to be about uh, just, under, uh, just under $1,000. Oh. So <clears throat> black hot, white hot, digital zoom, uh, no video record, just a simple handheld monocular for scanning, right. game retrieval, right. search and rescue. That's a great price point. And one thing I noticed with the... And it's not plastic. It's, uh, it's aluminum yeah. alloy housing, so yeah. it's going to be very nice and uh, sturdy. What I noticed with the... <laughs> I guess four HD units or even the older OTS. One of the one of the points of failure is actually the other batteries, right? Yes. So we yes. run mostly Kenpi batteries. Yes. But but I also not realized with the Kenpi since they have a little bit of a circuit board on there, they ha there is a failure rate with those. Of course. And I have scenarios where the one battery would be bad. Right. It's very hard to find out that that it Which is bad one? because yeah. yeah. So and you can't test them in the field. It's difficult because their internal power management system. There's a, a gate basically. I'm going to get like a rechargeable batteries. If the gate malfunctions, it could be actually catastrophic yeah. in terms of um, leakage into the housing and all those yeah. things. So, so the internal batteries you guys introduced with the four. And also, the you, can, okay, you can you uh, can uh, power on the go with a power, power bank. bank. Yeah, yeah. still yeah. USB C standard. So yeah, that makes a huge difference having yeah. the internal battery. Yeah. Right. You mentioned you guys made some updates to the Thor T. Yes. So new is it basically a second generation to that or? Yeah, so actually we got an award from Predator Extreme for the Thor LT best uh, product of 2019. Oh nice. Uh, voted by their readers. Uh, we're very happy about it of course, but we felt that um, some customers, even though they love the Thor LT, 
we could improve on it. So now, 2020, Sean Show here, we're introducing our new 320 by 240 12 micron sensor, mm -hmm. which uh, will be available in the summer. And actually, we'll have more lens options for the LT. We'll have four different options 19, 25, 35, and 50 millimeters. Wow. So uh, it's still simple operations, no video record, white hot, black hot, one shot zero. Still the same 10 hour battery life, 30 millimeter rings. But uh, with the various uh, lens options, you'll get uh, a bigger range of magnifications available. So if you want to shoot a little longer, you can get the 50 millimeter bell. You don't need that far distance. You get us, you know, smaller lens. Right. And the previous LT had the 160 uh, sensor, right? Yes. It was a 160 by 120 micron. Right. That's a big upgrade then. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that'll that'll probably get a lot of folks interested now. Yeah. Because and the, it, yeah. the price point will start at about I think 16.99. That's, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I already had somebody from Germany actually ask about the clip-on. Uh, wanted to know if he tested it or not, but I, I make sure I look through and get some. Get some hands-on experience, but uh, yeah, no folks are interested in the products you guys are putting out this year, so that's great. Um, another new product <clears throat> is the clip-on, the Tyco LT. We're gonna have three different adapters <clears throat> for mounting in various um, on the various day scopes. Uh, from 45 millimeter to about 65 millimeter. Also, uh, if you want to mount on a long rail, like a Picatinny or Weaver, you could use an AD170 quick detach mount and mount in front of an ACOG or Aimpoint or mm -hmm. one of those types of uh, day optics, uh, quick acquisition, right. smaller magnification, two power to about four power. Uh, also, uh, 1.2 pounds weight, so shouldn't cause any kind of damage to your day scope. You could use it with pretty much any day the scope. The form factor obviously is very similar. Very similar, the but the electronics uh, components have to be more ruggedized because yeah. you have to be recoil rated. Yeah. So they're slightly, they look very similar. Um, and we try to reuse the housings in right. multiple, multiple capacities, uh, like uh, the Henry Ford Makes model. Makes sense because you guys can yes. keep the cost uh, yeah, Mass lower, production, yeah. we move so many thousands of units, right. units every week. We have to have a standardized uh, form factor to be able to do what we do basically. Right. You guys have a price point for the clip-on? Yeah, um, entry level is going to be about eighteen ninety-nine. Okay, and it's going to be out uh, summer twenty twenty. Nice. Um, now I know that there's a few different adapters for it, and uh, you might have more, I guess, down the line. I heard that you start with forty-five millimeters as the smallest. Yes, yeah, so uh, three adapters, uh, forty-five to I believe fifty, then fifty-one to about fifty-five or sixty, and then sixty to sixty-five. So basically, three adapters, right. and they'll have. Um, uh, different uh, plastic incisor rings, so it'll it'll to match so better uh, right. for your day uh, day optic. Okay. Actually, this will have a reticle to co witness to align with your day scope. That's basically how you zero it in. Interesting. So, since your day scope is already zeroed, you don't have to do anything, right? You do have to align um, <clears throat> the screen basically to make sure there's no uh, refraction or misalignment because you want to maintain your POI. So what we're doing is we have a, a, um, <clears throat> a co-witness reticle that you activate. You move it to uh, uh, overlay to, with your day scope reticle. Makes then sense. you turn it off and you don't use it. Right. That's great. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Steve uh, Lemonov from ATN. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.